This is like I see the best team in the world. This dude is 1v9ing the LCO broadcast. And finally, Draku's dog. Should we be concerned? All this and more on this week's episode of Who's Gappin' and Who's Cappin'. Week 3 of the LCO was all about Legacy, with them picking up a clean 2-0. Their first game up against us was off to a pretty bad start, with L Fish Guy forgetting which team Cupcake was on. You know, what does Cupcake bring back to the roster? Is he uh, you know, quite a vocal player, or what does it sort of mean to have Cupcake back for, for you guys? Or to, to be going up against him, I suppose. Right. Um... During the game, it looks like Cupcake might have forgotten which team he was on too. Cupcake's gonna have to be the focus. He would have oh. found them. As if one upset weren't enough, on day two, we saw Legacy take down Peace. It should be like an easy victory. Bro, Abby, that's what I thought too. The other games went pretty much as expected, other than Chiefs taking out MSI representative PGG in a fairly dominant fashion. The split's turning out to be pretty spicy. The G I can't feel <laughs> my mouth. In last week's episode, we didn't have any Twitter drama, which was pretty disappointing for me because I've been starving for drama. And this week, I did manage to find find a few crumbs. We saw in a pre-game interview, Prey is saying the Chiefs bowling is really bad and if they play anything standard that they'll just be really free. After Dragku picked up the win, he said, don't ever talk to me or my rush hour bowling again. Praetus, not one to back down from banter, replied with hope it was warm sitting under your tower minutes 1 to 10. Guys, I really need more of this. Like we didn't have enough last week, so if you guys can just make some more drama on Twitter, I'd really appreciate that. This week, the LCO Clown Show was back in full force, and I decided to take a look at some of the best clips. For the first clip, we have Praetith in his pre-game interview with Puma. They do opt into fighting a lot, so hopefully we'll get some spice down there. Although, like, slight problem is that they're, they're kind of both just pretty bad, so we'd probably just stomp them, but they do fight back, which I respect. Right, I love Praetith interviews, man. That's where he can't just, like, compliment someone. As soon as he says something, he has to find a way to shit talk him straight after. This next clip really just has no introduction. Good to hear from Mbona at Mboma. Mbona, as always. <laughs> Whoa. I swear he said that shit on purpose. Do you like my dog on my bed? It was when just you, chilling when... here. It was just chilling here. Uh, <sighs> oh, we gotta, oh, we gotta head out. That's one of the weirdest clips I've ever seen. Like, I don't even know what to say. And for the second weirdest thing I've seen this week, we have Winter's Cockroach Dance. Cockroach Dance. Might have to investigate. This week's clip of the week is one of the most depressing clips I think I've ever seen and it comes from a top lane dive in the Chiefs vs PGG match. The play starts off with Swathe and Liv setting up a dive onto Biopanther and Chaz looking to counter with TP. Chaz TP's in and at the same time Decoy managed to cancel Kisei's TP in mid lane. After that however, it quickly turns to disaster as Ziggs manages to miss every single ability allowing Trinime to escape. When Nocturne dies, Evelyn hits 6 and then looks for the kill on Ziggs. Evelyn manages to ult him and Ziggs flashes late causing him to die and them to lose all the minions under the tower. This is definitely the saddest thing I've seen in the LCO so far and I feel pretty bad for Chaz. I think you just like alt F4 the solo key game that you're in. Not that I would ever do that or condone that behavior of course. At the end of week 3 the standings have really started to shake out a little. We have a clear first place in the Chiefs sitting at 5-1 and, and three teams tied at 4-2 and two in Peace, Pentanet and Order. Surprisingly, we also have Gravitas at 3-3 three three in 5th place. And finally, Mammoth remain the only team without a win, sitting at 8th place. Thank you all for watching week 3's episode of Who's Gappin' and Who's Cappin'. Your boy will be back again next week. Are we not doing the king of thing anymore? Well, Wayx got fucked by Kyoze, so I guess he's the new king.